Hello and welcome to Melissa Data, your partner in data quality. This video covers using Personator for SSIS. My name is Matthew Bain, the product specialist here at Melissa Data. Personator for SSIS is part of the data quality suite for SSIS from Melissa Data. This suite includes Personator, which verifies and appends contact data, Contact Verify, which standardizes, verifies, and corrects U.S. and Canadian contact data, Global Verify, which verifies, parses, and standardizes international addresses for over 240 countries, Smart Mover, which processes change of address for U.S. and Canadian records, Fuzzy Match, which links related records with a toolbox of fuzzy algorithms and match thresholds, and MatchUp which identifies duplicate records with domain-specific knowledge of contact information. What is Personator? Personator is a service with these key aspects. Contact Verify, Move Update, Demographics, and Append. Contact Verify. This checks individual pieces of contact data, like phone or address. You may also verify the correlation between pieces of the data, like a name that belongs to an address. This allows you to reduce fraud, save on shipping, and ensure accuracy and quality standards. Move Update can move records from up to a 10 years history. And Demographics provides you with statistical data on your contact records. This helps keep data current with latest address information and target customers with detailed market segmentation. Append. Complete contact record data with missing info like phone and email. Returns addresses geocoded coordinates. This enables cross-channel marketing campaigns, empowers mapping applications, and enhances your decision-making. Today we'll cover a simple data cleansing with Personator for SSIS. First off, we need a file we want to input. The test file I'll use has five records. We want to check the quality of our data and append any corrected info. There are three simple steps to this. Step 1. Prepare the environment. Step 2. Set up the data flow task, which involves a data source, the MD Personator Transform, and a data destination. And Step 3, execute the package. Step 1, prepare the environment. For the sake of brevity, I've already done this. Just set up your input file and connect it to Personator. The Melissa Data components are located here, under the comment section in the toolbox. Step 2, set up the data flow task. First, edit the Personator Transform. Uh, the Personator Transform has six tabs, Input, Actions, Processing Options, Output, Pass-Through Columns, and Output Filter. Input tab, Map your input fields. You do not need to have all fields mapped. Um, in this case, we're going to have a name, phone, email, company name, address line 1, city, state, and zip. Actions tab, select which actions you'd like to perform. These actions are US only. Today I'll choose all, so verify, move, and append. I'll go ahead and select always, but these are configuration options for power users. Processing options tab. Here you select which options you want. For custom configuration options, change these settings to fit your data. Output tab. Select which output groups and columns you want. In this case, we'll use the basic output columns along with suites and geocoding details. Pass-through columns. Select which columns to pass through on processed. In this case, we'll pass through only the customer ID. Output filter. By default, all data will be put through Personator pin 1. Personator generates results codes for data to indicate its quality. So using these filters for result codes allows you to specify which data you want and where. Since addresses are the focus of this video, this is what I'll be targeting. First, we set up pin 1 to take the valid addresses. So we'll go ahead and select a custom setting where we have ASO1 or ASO2 or ASO3. This means that any addresses that had a valid address and returned a result code for it will be put into this file. And now on pin 2, we'll go ahead and just name it invalid. We don't need to do anything else because anything else will automatically be sent to this pin. Click OK to save the configuration. So now here's our data flow, where we have an input file, we have connected to the SSIS component, which is then connected to two output files. Step 3, execute the package. Click the Run button and wait for the results. 
Here I've opened up our input file and the two output files. So the easiest way to check our data is by reviewing the result codes that were appended to it. First off, let's check the output file that was invalid. So you see we only have one record here, and Mickey didn't make the cut. So if we look at the result codes, we have an AE01. That means the postal code doesn't exist. Now let's go ahead and look at our valid output file. This has four records. So let's look at customer number one. This one has AS01, which means the address was fully verified. It also has an AS12. This means it was a record move. So even though this customer gave us an old address, Personator found that he had moved and appended the new address to our data. That way we don't lose this customer. Now moving on to customer number two, the result code returned here is an AS15, which means an apartment was appended. So if you remember, we made sure to add a suite field and Personator went ahead and added the suite for this address in that field. So now we have customer number four. Their data was mostly correct. But if you notice, it has been standardized and cleaned up. So like the street name was cleaned up, the capitalization was standardized, and the zip4 was appended. And on customer number five, the information is correct. And in fact, a phone and email was appended. If you look at the result codes, we have a DA30 and a DA40. So that means the phone and email were appended. And don't forget that we also wanted to have geocoding for the validated addresses. If you look here, we have the latitude and longitude for these. So there you have it, a data quality tool for SSIS that gives you the control. Well, I hope this was helpful. And remember, you can always contact Melissa Data online at www.melissadata.com or call us at 1-800-MELISSA. Have a nice day.